Okay, this headline giving a lot of people some hope. New this morning, there could be a new vaccine to help keep skin cancer from coming back. Moderna and Merck just released their most recent findings. Researchers studied 157 people with stage 4 and 5 melanoma. Once the cancer was completely removed, the patient started the vaccine coupled with Keytruda. That's a drug used to boost the immune system. Those results found 79% of participants were cancer free for 18 months. This was phase two of the study. Phase three is expected to start uh, this year as well. Joining me now is Dr. Dave Montgomery, News Nation's medical analyst. Dr. Dave, always good to see you. Thanks for hopping on. Great to be with you. Um, so first question, skin cancer is the most common of all cancers. In your eyes, how big of a breakthrough could this be? Yeah, Marky, this has got a lot of people very excited and for good reason. You know, real-time breakthroughs in real time showing up right in front of our eyes here where these two almost household names, right? Moderna, Merck yes. have gotten together to develop what they call a PCV. We're going to be using that a lot. Personalized cancer vaccine. Get this. This is how it works. They take a bit of the, the, the tumor, the melanoma in this particular case, and then they map the proteins. They take those proteins to develop this mRNA vaccine, which allows the body to attack the cancer. Now, when they put that together with Keytruda, which is already in use for a number of cancers, including skin cancer, the results are astonishing. It's got a lot of people very excited, Mark. Yeah, when you say, you took the words right out of my mouth with my next question, but when you say mRNA vaccine, I think after the last few years, a lot of people think, of the COVID vaccine, uh, but this works in a different way to fight skin cancer and keep it from coming back. Exactly how does it do that? Yeah, so, you know, and, and I've said this on my podcast before, the mRNA technology has been sort of in research for over 20 years. This is not brand new. And what they're doing is building on what they've learned over all of this time. What they know that is that they can train the immune system with mRNA, just small particles of mRNA, to attack certain things, whether it's a virus or a cancer cell, then we rev up the immune system's ability to do that. And that's exactly what's happening. There are these little proteins on every cell, right? And so the cancer cells each have a different footprint, if you will, of, of, of proteins. And what they can do is each individual person who could have a very different uh, a cancer cell uh, a footprint, they get a different mRNA vaccine. It takes them about eight weeks to develop this vaccine. And, and it's it catered is to you. Well. It's fascinating. Uh, and also, I think a lot of people watching this segment and hearing you say, OK, well, I hope this works. But when will this be on the market? Um, what's your prediction for that? I guess it's obviously dependent upon how long phase three takes. But when could this thing hit the market for us? Yeah, I mean, we, we saw with the with the COVID vaccines that we can actually merge uh, some of the phases together and shorten. Uh, breakthroughs like this. And so because the U.S. regulators are also excited about this, which is hard to do, by the way, they have gotten the so-called breakthrough therapy designation, which is going to help expedite it through. The researchers think this might be about three years in the making, but I think once we sort of get that uh, that expedi you know, expedited review, I think we'll start seeing this in the next year or two. Um, but it's very, very exciting nonetheless. Yeah, this could change the game and lives for a lot of people. I think we all have a friend or a loved one who has, has gone through skin cancer. Dr. Dave Montgomery, thank you so much, as always. Great to be with you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.